Representative of the Citizens of Europe. Our colleague Jim Higgins, 1.30. Please, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you, President. It's quite clear that the 1994 directive served its purpose, but it's now totally outdated. As has been said repeatedly, the huge explosion in air travel means that we do need updated safety measures, we do need more coordination, we do need more inspection, and we do need more cooperation. What I like about this report is that it clearly defines the role of the competent authorities. I, I support the proposal already alluded to by Brian Simpson and by the uh, rapporteur that the European Aviation Safety Authority should not in any circumstances, have any role in safety investigation. Their job, they do an excellent job, is certifying aircraft, but not investigating the post situation in relation to an accident. In relation to the network of um, uh, safety officers, again, I welcome this. Training courses are crucially important because what we need to do is to reduce the current differences between the different standards applying in the different member states. The passenger list, one of the, the major traumas in the wake of an accident is the delay in getting the passenger list. The fact that it now must be produced within one hour is extremely welcome. And again, it's rather gruesome to have to give the name of someone when you're actually booking uh, a flight, but the fact that you will now uh, hopefully be in a position to furnish the name of a person to be contacted in the event of an accident uh, if somebody dies, I think that's very important as well because the trauma, again, of waiting is something almost unbearable. I take the point in relation to DNA, but if we do this, if we give a name of somebody who is to be contacted, then the DNA can follow later. A lot of sensible proposals. I would only a minute and a half. I commend the rapporteur and the other rapporteurs. They have done an excellent job. Thank you, President. Thank you very much, colleague. Uh, tell us... Um... And now, Mr. Arthur Zasada. One and a half minutes, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Colleagues, today we are discussing a document of immense importance for 800 million.